fun. Yeah, and matter of fact, um, that's why uh, we're live right now. Thank you. That's cool. why um, my hair could be bluer and <laughs> because the chlorine at Great Wolf Lodge, which which I'm thankful for. Right. Uh, I'll tell you because I I really do like a big giant dose of chlorine with my pee. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the pee pool is, is yeah, you, you know at Great Wolf Lodge how that's got to be. Yeah. Right, yeah. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Thursday Night Live. How's that? How's that? Hey, everybody. We only have two, two shows left, and this is one of them. This is one of them. Hey, that what we were talking about earlier reminds me of one of my favorite stories of all time. This, this, uh, this monk had decided to go to this special monastery. I, I don't be getting, not getting the right words here, but this monk had decided to go to this monastery and he, he, he the, the, to do it, you had to agree to a vow of silence. You were allowed to say two words every year, nothing else. And so oh. he goes for the, he goes in, he says nothing for two years. Hey Kim, he says nothing for two years. He, I mean, for one year it, And the main guy calls him in the head monk. And he says, okay, you get your two words. And the, and the monk said, food, bad. Mm. And the monk, yeah, well, that's, a, that's your two words for this year. You get two more next year. Year goes <laughs> on, he, he maintains his silence. He comes back in that second year. And the monk says, okay, well, what are your two words? And he said, bed, hard. And the monk said, okay. And so he couldn't say anything else for t another year. Third year he comes in. And he says, okay, what are your two words? And he says, I quit. <laughs> the head monk says, well, it's about time you've done nothing but complain since you got here. <laughs> hey, that's hey, Donna. Good. hey, Donna and Kevin. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. I love that joke. That was probably told to me by my first boss and mentor, Jack Amberson. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. You know, uh, when I was a kid, I was thinking maybe the whole nun thing might be for me. Because they had cute outfits, and I'd seen the nun where she was flying, Sally Field, uh -huh. the oh. nun. But then yeah. I found out being a nun meant you get none. <laughs> That's why they nun. call it nun, darling. <laughs> Well, I'm like, no, 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 that's not me. <laughs> like, no, no. <laughs> oh, Kim no. Hey, Kim, if she had done that, the world equilibrium would have shilt, shilt, shifted somehow. <laughs> that we would have had a tilt in the Earth's axis. So this could have been a really bad thing for the entire universe. Oh, God. oh that's bad. Hey, <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's Lisa Gale. Hey, Lisa. Hang on, I yes. need a sip of coffee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, so, um, you know what I was thinking? Uh, th this is, I don't want to be all weepy or anything, but we got a long list of people that helped us. And there's That's Maureen. Uh, do this book book thing together. Um, yeah. I, I was actually... Not surprised, but there's a, a lot of people that went into um, making this, you know, a book, even just a book by itself. And it's funny because all my other book experiences were not like this. Um, yeah. I don't know about with you, but when I did books on my own, of course, I didn't have the money for a team or anything like that. I didn't have the editor and all that even. And right. I certainly didn't know about Amazon and all. <laughs> I didn't know any of that. So it was just me, my little flash drive and the printer uh, and who I sold to. So yes. this was a whole different universe. Um, and I tried to show gratitude along the way. But if I missed anybody, I do want to shout out. Uh, we had what was one of the first things we had was all the endorsements. Right. We That's have 30, 30 something endorsements, yep. I think. Oh, there's Peg. Hey, Peg. Hey, Peg, are you seeing this on YouTube? I tried to stream it there, but it, is it coming out on my channel or Lisa's channel? I think it's hey. probably mine. She's on, by yeah, way, she's on YouTube. And by um, the way, hi, Maureen and, and Lisa Gale. Happy anniversary. Or happy friend anniversary. So. <laughs> and you know, it was funny. So um, you said this didn't happen, but you know darn well it did. Was <laughs> is When we were getting the endorsements, 
we were like being competitive about it. You said that wasn't we weren't doing that, but we uh, we ended up getting almost exactly the same number. Of <laughs> <laughs> I said, if you're thinking he is not getting more endorsement than me, <laughs> yeah. Well, and, the, the we had so many people helping, but the best thing about this whole process to me, on my end of it, is is you and me. Is that friendship? Well, having a going. new friend, I I actually never even thought about that when you were saying, let's do this project, I never thought, oh good, I'm gonna have a new best friend. <laughs> I didn't think that at all. I was just thinking about the book and doing, you know, doing stuff. Um, right. So that's a awesome side benefit. <laughs> yeah, the only weird part is you know more about me than almost anybody on the planet. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Maybe I'll write a tell-all book someday called <laughs> Stories of the Co-Authors. <laughs> yeah, why I say that, everybody, is because um, how we did this to start with was uh, once we decided we we're going to do the book, um, Jeff called me and was just asking me questions and and said, tell me about this and tell me what's important to you and tell me about this. And I was like spilling my guts left and right. <laughs> <laughs> some stuff he could use, some stuff he couldn't, but the only way we could tell is if I just, I guess, did a bunch Absolutely. of talking. Absolutely. So, and you know, then you favorite, stuff out. It, it, it worked out really good, I think. My favorite yeah. line that you that you said, and it was about, uh, I think, husband number two, and how you, you took him to the edge of the woods and released him into the wild. <laughs> released him back into the wild. Don't forget that. That's right, <laughs> yeah, back in the wild. Hi, back Laurie, from whence he came, right? <laughs> from whence he came, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's Ruth and Laurie from down on the Cape. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we've, had, that, we've had a lot of fun over the last couple of years. Well, actually, three or four now. If you think about it. I can Yeah, I can't believe that. That was, yeah. and all of it started with a comment on a Zoom call. That <laughs> That'll is, teach you. <laughs> I know. I know. There's a I saying like back when, in the southeast, and it's, that'll learn you, darn you. <laughs> I, I think it's funny that, uh, it's like, I ran into someone that I went to high school with, and they're friends with me on Facebook, but it's new. Uh, they have I haven't talked to them for years and years and years, and uh, it's a guy, and um, he said, um, he was he was saying like, uh, uh, colored hairs for little kids why are you doing that mm. <laughs> i wanted to say mm, 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 mm. you didn't you don't want to realize what you're saying and then today he posted are you going to change it orange for halloween mm, 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 mm. <laughs> he doesn't realize it it's it's an opinion he he might as well just keep to himself <laughs> That's true. hair color is not something i discuss or or vote with vote on that's what it is yeah, we're not doing democracy hair color. <laughs> well, he, he doesn't. He may not know that you're uh, you, the, one of the traits you and I have in common. If, if somebody says something that kind of communicates their disapproval of a choice they really have no business having an opinion on, we are uh, hell bent <laughs> to not do it their way. <laughs> that that that's true. That's true. <laughs> I mean, half of my attraction to the hair color, I think, is. Um, I was sick of people saying I should uh, let it go gray for starters. Uh, I was sick of that. And the other thing is most people, the older they get, they have to go lighter and lighter because you can't go dark hair. That looks stupid too. And I thought, well, you know what? This solves both of those things. I'm just going to stay blue, <laughs> right? And people can get bent out of shape. That weeds them out. That's fine with me. <laughs> well, yeah, you, Take some you, you, opinions to yourself. She'd probably say that, <laughs> wouldn't you, Peg? <laughs> Oh, hey, Lisa saw the comment about the orange hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Peg, Peg would, would set them straight pretty quickly. You, 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 and I will do it too. But we do it. Uh, we do it with what's the right way. We we just we do it internally and just ignore them. But Peg is our advocate, and we'll just tell them to their face. <laughs> Shut the hell up. <laughs> and, and Lisa, you know it's funny when I read that Lisa Gale, uh, when I read the comment to start with, it was like that quote from Frozen from the Little Snowman. You know, somebody's got to tell him. Somebody's got to tell him. <laughs> I, I thought, yeah, 
<laughs> I used to put just for men in my hair about once every month or so, just just uh, not not for long because you know, I didn't want it to get dark, but I would let it darken <laughs> up. And then finally, I guess it was two or three years ago, I said, no, I'm not going to do it anymore. And it, I still have some brown in there, but on, on some pictures, I look back at the picture when I was doing uh, the audio book, my part of the audio book in that studio in North Texas. Oh, and I had to take a picture there. And my hair looked like Santa Claus. It was so white. It was crazy. <laughs> hey, Debbie. <laughs> well, shall, shall we go back and talk about that for a second? Because that was kind of funny. That was sure. a memory. <laughs> a memory. <laughs> Wait, are so are we you sure had... we can talk about this? <laughs> <laughs> we were at the the end, end of the book right now. That, that happened way earlier in the year. And we'd mm -hmm. already done the like launch we were doing shows already and everything so we were all into it by then we'd sold some books and everything by then and you're like we just got to get this audio thing done and when you first told me you said you're going to need to read this i'm thinking to myself sure i can read you know <laughs> I, I it's funny what i don't know and and i always act like i might be able to do it, but I'm oh yes, I got. I'm thinking I've read before. You know, I can read out loud. <laughs> I had no idea you were thinking I was going to act, and I won't even fill in for uh in community theory. I won't even fill in and read. So then I'm panicking right off. Once once you real told me what needs to happen, I'm panicking. So um I sent you me doing uh the first chapter. Right. And I just thought, well, I'm going to send it to him. When he realizes how bad I'll be, we'll figure out plan B. That's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. And then Mr. Teacher sent me back him doing it at, like an example of what it should be. And then, of course, your voice. I'm thinking, oh, people are going to go nuts for that. So I'm like, we should really both do this somehow. So then we got that all sorted. And you said, don't worry, because you. I was panicking literally panicking and you said i can be in your headset and on the laptop and you read it and record it on the laptop and i'll be there to coach you and right. it sounded so good though but um, <laughs> i didn't realize there's a reason that i work for myself and that's because i'm not really coachable th I'm, not <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really good at that you know what i mean mm -hmm. so uh Oh, you were so good about it. So patient, mostly. Almost. Then, <laughs> there was one day I was not quite as patient. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, and then, oh, God. And then I was crying like tw three or three days out of the five or something. Oh, God. And I cry when I'm frustrated. So that's what it was. Oh, right. God. Yeah. Anyway, so that one day, I don't know what day that was even, but that one day. <laughs> I had had it with you. <laughs> I, I thought one more word out of the sky. <laughs> and you had me redo a line, I don't know, six times. And I thought, oh, no. and and then you like gave me a stern talking to, and I, I said, screw you. I don't care if you finish it or not. And I hung up on you. <laughs> and in that moment, I'm thinking to myself, well, I just blew that. And and then you actually text me and said, I had no idea this is what you'd say. You said, let's regroup and meet back in an hour. <laughs> you were definitely the more grown up person. I was acting like a three year old <laughs> and you pulled it around. So um, I sat there for that full hour, the full hour I sat on the edge of my bed calling you everything but fit to live. And I, uh, hey, there was no way that I'm getting on this call with that man. I, I don't care what he does. I don't care if he ever finishes that, that it, if he never speaks to me again, I'm fine with that. Right. And then of course, at the end of the hour, I went back on the zoom and we, you talked me into it because you're the consummate salesman. <laughs> and, uh, we finished it. I was, I was surprised that we got through that day, but let me tell you the next day, <laughs> You messaged me and you go, can you hop on to a Zoom for a minute? And I thought, that SOB, he wants to redo part of that thing. We <laughs> and I'm thinking, I, I can't take any more. 
<laughs> and then when I got on the Zoom, you had the background changed to be a horse's behind. <laughs> <laughs> and you yeah. felt bad, but it was me. I'm the one that acted like a three-year-old. It wasn't you. <laughs> I do appreciate you saying that. <laughs> Lisa, in any relationship, it's never just one person. <laughs> I, did, sure. I, I had I have that graphic. It's a picture in my <laughs> my on my computer that I use sometimes in, in articles. I'll post it on that. So it's being a horse's ass, and I'll the horse's rear, and I'll do that. <laughs> And so I thought, well, I was a little tough yesterday. Let me put this horse's butt up here so everybody, so she can see it. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. And I'm sure when you were thinking about doing this project, the last thing that you considered was the amount of uh, hand holding and therapy that you're going to have to put up with with me. <laughs> I was having a, a big revelation in my life, but you didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh oh, that was funny. If you if you'd have known, uh, would you still? If you, if I, I you would do known, it all again. Oh, would you? Oh, thank again. you. Because <laughs> I realize I'm a little much. You know, it's worse when someone's a little much and doesn't know it. Right. At least I know it. You know. <laughs> well, those those were uh, some tough days for me too, in general, in, in life, and so uh, the the project helped me keep my head on straight a lot too. So that was good. Yeah, that was a, a like a moment in time. I, you know what? It's funny. It, I don't know if you feel this way, but you know how the kaleidoscope thing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you turn it and you're, you just get a moment, and right. then it turns again, and that's that's yeah. it. Yeah. But it was just a moment. So. I think we said hello to everybody. Hi, Debbie. Uh, Lisa. 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 Well, now that Peg's on, uh, why don't I say about what we were talking yeah. about? Okay. Yeah. Um. One of the things I regret, um, oh, yeah, I would do it all again. Oh, that, yeah, that is, was nice of you to say. Uh, if you don't really mean it, lie to me because I uh, no. <laughs> lie to me, lie to me, lie to me. No, no, I, I really would. That's not, that's not an exaggeration. What you don't give yourself credit enough for, in my opinion, one of the things, and there's many things in the world that you don't, is this was a very good. Thing for me because you you're the first time I reached out to anybody to co-author and the co-authoring is now part of my business model I, I I'm that's part of what I do business wise and uh, our experience is what launched that so as much as you try to give yourself hell over these kind of things I'm telling you, it was. Um, it, <laughs> and, uh, as a matter of fact, I've got. I'm doing a book with uh, with Susan Solovic now, oh, and yes, uh, one of the reasons. I mean, she she and I knew each other. I'd done some guest uh, writing for her on her website and stuff like that. But she, she also she would tune into our show sometimes, and, and she just to see the interactions and all that. And so that's it's it. It was a launching point for me to go in this direction. <laughs> so. I'll always yeah. love you for that, kid. I always will. I'm a, yeah. I'm when am I crying? Big baby. Big baby as, uh, as, as, oh, gosh, I'm drawing a blank. Molly's husband. Oh, Bib. As Bib says, you ruined my friend. <laughs> he says that all the time, too, right? Right. I don't, yeah, I've never cried before, ever cried. And, and by the time I met you, though, I was crying at stupid stuff. Oh, here's a pen. Thank you, Laurie. And I'm crying. <laughs> well, you know, that may be the best pen I've seen all day, though. And if you think about how many people gave their blood, sweat, and tears for that, that pen. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, matter of fact, here's uh, just wave high because uh, we're live. And Alex was part of hey, this Alex. project. Um, yes. He did the cover. This is. Our second to last show. Aw. That, that's one of the things that makes the book so special is Alex did the cover. See? Yay! Yeah. Off the desk out there, just so you know. Thank you very much. Oh, a nice dog. Uh, so anyway, yeah, <laughs> the dog's here. <laughs> so, um, oh, what I wanted to say to um, – uh, Peg, actually, to everybody. So one of the things I do regret, and uh, it's not, I don't want to say regret, that's probably uh, too harsh of a word, but along with um, 
uh, calling you everything but fit to live. <laughs> the name calling was nothing. It was that day that I'm talking to, I'm talking in your ears, which by the way, I got that idea because when I'm in a studio cutting an audio book, I'm wearing headphones and the producer that's in the, the room oh, is yeah, talking talk to me. To I missed something. He's yeah. talking to me and they let me know to go back and do certain things. And so, I, but, <laughs> okay. but the ones that I'm paying in those studios are a lot, uh, they're a lot better apparently than I was. But the funniest <laughs> thing was, as you're doing your recording, you've got me in your ears, you're, you're talking into your laptop and all of a sudden you, your hand came up and you had only one of those fingers up and then it goes <laughs> right down. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot about that part. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you know, it was it was a flapping bird that came. Up. <laughs> well, and at that stage of our friendship, I hadn't done that to you before. So <laughs> it was kind of like you got over that. You sent them to me by emoji now. <laughs> now, I now text I, on my I, phone. It's Lisa sending me an emoji. <laughs> <laughs> I say now I text you that by itself. That's how good of friends we are, right? <laughs> That's true. That's true. I, and, and I would tell you, I would bail you out of jail at three o'clock in the morning, which I, I weren't there already. I would, but most likely I'd be there with you. So, okay. Never mind. Oh, goodness. So, so let me get back to what I do regret. Some things that like um, we, I thought of, or we thought of came out with, and then I never ran with it. And one of them is the true blue book crew. I came up with the stuff for it. I was late even doing that. And then I never really did anything for the people that, that made it, except right. announce it. So I feel bad about that. Um, but I did. We had three people end up making it. Uh, it was Janelle Bixler, Peg Duchesne, and Teresa Staples. And they met all the qualifications. And then um, what I did was I put them in a drawing. And um, another thing that I regret. <laughs> is we talked about uh, that winter garden jewelry set last year that Avon had. And um, I bought a set to do with my Avon team and then didn't even do anything with it. It's sitting here. Right. And I decided I was going to draw between the three people in the blue, the true blue book crew. And one of them is going to get that uh, jewelry set. And I did it already. I should have recorded it, but I didn't. But the winner was Peg Duchesne. Yay, Peg. I think you're going to like that set, Peg. It comes with um, necklace and earrings and a watch. Yep. So, and a bracelet. So it's, Plus, it's you, a beautiful Plus, you've got set. to hear my partner in crime over there, Peg. You've got to hear her say the word drawing. <laughs> drawing? What did I say? Well, drawing it, it, it reminds me if you ever uh, seen mike myers when he was doing the old saturday night live stuff it, it's uh it, it's just a it's a way that you say it in new hampshire down here we would just say drawing and drawing. up there you say drawing it's almost drawing. like d-r-a-w-e-r-i-n-g so and i like drawing. it drawing yeah. Laura, Lori, no, she's from Massachusetts. We, I'm from Mass originally. We say all kind of wild stuff down there. That's, that's, <laughs> it is, huh, Lori? Yeah, I, I've been having fun teaching Ty about uh, the word. This one, you know, too. the The town's name is P E A B O D Y. There's Molly. Hey, Molly. What do you think? P E A B O D Y Peabody. No, it's Peabody. When you're Peabody. Yeah, I'm telling you, when you live down in Mass, everybody says Peabody. And it's just a bunch of stuff like that. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's towns. So well, Texas is like that. You know, I've lived in Texas now more than half my life. And I, uh, but according to my wife, Lori, I still can't say I'm a native Texan. I can't say I'm a Texan because I wasn't born here. But I've been here more than half my life. <laughs> but we have that same thing down here. <coughs> Excuse me. And we will. Oh, there's a town. The town name is spelled M. E X I A. So you look at it, you think, okay, that's Mexia, but the locals pronounce it Mahaya. Oh. And there, there's a story about two friends sitting in, in a restaurant in Mahaya, and they're arguing about how it's pronounced. And uh, one of them says it's Mexia, and the other says, no, it's not, it's Mahaya. And so finally, they asked the waitress, they said, how do you pronounce the name of this place we are? And she said, Dairy Queen. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> That's pretty good. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, you know what Peg said? And this reminded me, uh, you know, Scola too. Uh, right. Peg said, I say that who wears watches anymore? And I was like a kind of, um, of not offended. That isn't the right word. But I thought well, uh, a couple years ago, Avon gave me this really expensive watch for my right. 35th anniversary and i kind of wasn't being grateful as the what it boils down to and lisa scola turned me around kicked me in the butt and she said you idiot <laughs> said, that's why you need close friends she said you idiot it's not about being a watch it's jewelry look at it like it's a bracelet and i'm you like, know, I oh. like scola a lot she gets she right. gets things i get that <laughs> she does not, yeah, she does not beat around the bush, and it's lucky thing because I'm a little dense sometimes. So ever since she told me that, I, I have a new appreciation for watches that are jewelry because they are right. jewelry because I was well, thinking, why are we selling watches? I don't get it. <laughs> well, I actually have started wearing a watch. I, I bought this a while back. It's an Apple watch. Ooh. And the reason I started wearing it, because I really wasn't wearing it. I've worn some, then I just quit wearing it. And um, the reason I started wearing it is, as you know, but I don't know if the audience knows, I actually, I officially got on Medicare this month. Because, uh, <laughs> We're all keeping track month. of it. We're all like, <laughs> damn, he's old. He's old. <laughs> but uh, part of my, I got a discount on my Medicare supplement because I was willing to wear some sort of a thing like a Fitbit or an Apple Watch yeah. and, and let it connect my health data with them. I, I actually got a discount on my premium, so I took advantage of it. And, and see, now I have proof because I showed it on a live show that went out across the world. And so I've got proof. Of everything. Hey, you know who's on? Uh, hi to Lisa Williams and Karen Tucker and Cynthia Pilkington. Uh, I want to tell you something about Karen. I hope she's listening. <laughs> Karen <laughs> and one of our other buddies that she hangs around with all the time, Dana. Uh, those two women carry so much luggage no matter where we go <laughs> the last time and they they they're proud of it so i'm not saying anything bad they're happy with them so <laughs> we went to a meeting in new york i swear to you it was like a three-day meeting including the day you're coming in right a three-day yeah. meeting we shared a lift on the way back to the airport the two of them and me i only had a carry-on because it was a three-day three-day right. meeting right. they both had two pieces of luggage the size of a person like you bury Earl in. <laughs> two. Uh, well, we we that. I think Laurie needed a suitcase just for her shoes. <laughs> they do that. They do that. No, no. I, no, I don't ever bring shoes in my, my luggage because I'm wearing the pair I've got on. If you, no matter where we're going or what we're doing, I'm wearing the pair I'm, I've got on because I'm not bringing shoes in my luggage. <laughs> Uh, actually, at this stage, I probably carry more luggage than Laurie does because I'll have I, I I will have the shoes I wear on the trip. I'll have at least one or two pairs of shoes while I'm there, depending on how many days I'm staying and what I have to do. Like like next week at Saleswise Live, I'll have different shoes for the two days that I'm presenting stuff, mm -hmm. and uh, but it's more casual ones later. But uh, I probably I probably take up more room now than she does, but. Uh, you know, whatever it is. Yeah, uh, Molly said something while well, I got tickled. Molly said something about Big Pharma. You're right. And yes, I know I'm not the only one on Medicare, but it's <laughs> new to me, guys. It's new to me. Man, well, yeah, you can't be too picky because then you're in man village violation territory. That's what <laughs> that's what Molly yeah, said. Here. It fits on to. Yay. <laughs> it's about bib time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh no karen was laughing too we were having a ball on the way back to the airport but i'm like we almost had to get a bigger vehicle because the two of them's bags were so big they were like people you know <laughs> and was like, all i could think of is like burying your ex like earl in the bag oh anyway <laughs> cynthia, um, cynthia pilkington where, where do you live i went to school with a girl named cindy pilkington but that was in, in alabama so i don't i, I don't think it was you but I'm just curious. I think you saw her. I'm so distracted. You. Every time you start something, I start playing with people online. Here. Oh. Okay. So we only got a, a, like a minute left, but I just wanted to read over my little list here a little bit. Um, okay. I'm going to send Peg that uh, jewelry set for the True Blue Book Crew and apologize for not following through with that. I liked the idea. I thought it was awesome, but I didn't promote it like I could have. But isn't that true with everybody? You mm -hmm. know, you have 10 ideas and sometimes you run with them, sometimes you don't. 
That just yeah. happened to be one I didn't. Anyway, so Alex doing the book cover, Jesse at the library doing the editing. Oh, yes. Yeah. My library down here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And um, the endorsements and our very first Amazon review was written by Penny Price. Wow. Oh, and there's my cousin, Dory. Hey, Dory. Hey, Dory. Yeah. And um, then we have everybody that's uh, bought the book and the audio books. Think of all the podcast hosts. Oh, yeah. uh, that we've been on together and separate. There was a lot. And um, <laughs> the other thing, the man buffet got in your way. Thanks, Kim. Thanks, Kim. Hey, she, 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 she's, a, she's a reverend. She's just saying the truth. <laughs> <laughs> well, once Kim shared a room with me, <laughs> she knew the whole story. <laughs> well, uh, okay, so, and then the, la the last one I wanted to say is uh, grateful for um, all the people that participated in the group, uh, you know, the ones that did the color pages and the ones that did the recipes when we posted them and uh, watching the show. And uh, we really appreciate all, all the participation. And I, this book just wouldn't be the same without all of you guys. That's this true. has been, a, it really felt like a team project. Yep. It definitely was. It's been a joy. I just saw Ty got on. Hi, Ty. Hey, Ty. Now I'm blushing. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh. Oh, and Peg still wearing her wristband. She said, think of all the people who have blue wristbands. I still yeah. have mine I wear mine every Thursday. Do you know it's funny at the convention I had people come up to show me their wristbands? So oh, wow. I, I loved that. I thought that was awesome. And Peg still likes the playlist on Spotify. Um, oh, I finally stopped door dashing in Thursday so I could watch. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> but it's, yeah, it's, um, it's so funny that we ended up doing the book to start with because of the go giver thing. And then, uh, all the stuff that went into it. I don't know about you, but it wasn't just, um, all the friends and all the people that was awesome. The book itself, I love. Um, but I learned so many different things on different and I wasn't, you learned more than I did on the book part itself. Cause I wasn't even involved in uh, right. the that's, editing that's and stuff. So, so that, I mean, it was just so many things to um, grasp at once, I guess. Yeah. So it's, don't, don't get me crying. Oh, God, well, <laughs> we got next week to go. Don't, don't get crazy. We can cry next week. Okay. <laughs> so, right. The Go-Giver Success Alliance. I know. I can't believe they're not doing that anymore. Uh, you guys have done a clinic on how to do this. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Molly. Really. Yeah, I think we did. Molly and I did that book set view from the top, but there wasn't social media then, mostly. So right. we didn't have as much to work with. But we certainly didn't do any of the stuff that we did right. here with blue hair. So uh, yeah. Lisa says, it, it is, uh, don't know that you two started the book through the Go-Giver Success Alliance group. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, you didn't yep. know that part? Can I say that quick and then we'll be done? Sure, sure. <laughs> so <clears throat> one of the first calls I went on, Lisa, on the Go-Giver Success Alliance, um, I had been talking to Bob and, and Bob was telling me about it. I said, yeah, because I want to meet new people because I needed more business. And uh, he was telling me about the people that were on the in the group, though. And I was thinking... Ooh, this is going to be a little intimidating, right? <laughs> and then when I showed up, I neglected to remember that I had blue hair. Now, Lisa Williams colors her hair all the time, but that was the first time I'd ever colored my hair anything but my regular hair color ever. Right. So I wasn't used to that. And then I was trying not to be intimidated by all these doctors, lawyers and stuff. And I'm sitting there with blue hair. And so what I decided to do was I decided to tell a joke about the hair because I thought, well, at least it'll be something. <laughs> you know what I mean? So what I said was, <laughs> you know what's coming. He's got the look on his face. He knows. He sees it coming down the track. So I said, um, if you want less judgment in your life, go ahead and dye your hair blue because this is working for me. There we go. <laughs> you know, I go, go down to the grocery store and see some lady in a tight skirt, and I'm thinking, man, that lady's got a tight skirt. 
said the lady with the blue hair. And that's exactly what I said on the call. And in the comments, uh, a guy I didn't know, Jeff West, wrote, uh, "You that would make a great title for a book. Yeah. And it all started from that. That was it. Yep. Isn't that wild? That's wild. You know, it's funny how things like that happen. Um, you know, of course, my career before I started writing was with Aflac. And um, the, the everybody knows Aflac from the Dagum Duck commercials. How that <laughs> got started was there was an ad agency in New York that wanted to get Aflac business, and the guys were brainstorming around a table. And they were like, what can we do? Aflac, Aflac, Aflac. And one of them said, you know, you sound kind of like a duck. And that one comment started that. Just like your wow. comment about dye your hair blue, this is working for me. That <laughs> comment started all of this. Wow. And, you know, I, I don't... We're, I think we're so grateful. Maybe, maybe I, I'm, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but as we've done the Go-Giver Success Alliance for the last couple of years, um, many times someone said that would make a good book title. And mm -hmm. most of the time it just is forgotten. Right. So the fact that we didn't forget it, I think, yeah. made we all didn't. the we didn't forget about it. <laughs> forget about it. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's it. So we, we are done for today because we're a little bit over. We have one more show next week. Yeah. And, uh, My last yeah. one. No and crying. I'm be, yeah. I, I'm not promising because I'm a big baby anyway. You know. <laughs> oh, well, it's not like either one of us are dying or something. So I'm sure we'll, we'll do something. <laughs> Anyway, thank you, everybody. We love you, and we appreciate you being on this ride with us. And uh, we're, we're having so much fun. We got one week to go. We hope we'll see you then. Love you guys. I, uh, I hope we have a big crowd next week to tell everybody how much we appreciate it. I really do. Well, good night, everybody. Good night, Gracie. <laughs>